taking into account the environmental impact and traffic impacts that would come with building a new I-80 bridge. The Illinois Department of Transportation is narrowing down its options for where it wants to build. News H Jenna Webster shares why one city official is happy to see some of the plans no longer in consideration. It's our top story on News 8 at 10. The future of the new I-80 bridge is becoming a little bit clearer. As the Illinois Department of Transportation seeks to replace the aging structure and narrow lanes. I'd like to welcome you to the third I-80 Mississippi River Bridge online public meeting. Seven options released in May have now been narrowed down to four. Four alternatives be carried forward for more detailed evaluation. No longer in consideration are building a new bridge on the existing alignment or building several hundred feet further away up or down the river. Primary reason uh, for dismissing this alternative is that it requires the closure of I-80. Alternative six and seven, which are the new alignment alternatives, are also not recommended. Primary reason um, for that is that they would have the greatest impacts on the environment. Rapid City Village President Harold Muir has been following the plans closely and says this was the best case scenario. It would impact residential areas. It would impact the property tax rolls. It would impact businesses. So it just was not feasible. Of the four options that remain, the new bridge would be built anywhere from 20 to 50 feet away from the current bridge and keep traffic on one half of the current bridge while the new is being built. Mere favors building to the west of the bridge. That would have the least disruptions to our residents. And as far as demolition goes. Alternatives two and three may not require the removal of the existing bridge, while alternatives four and five would require demolition of the existing bridge. Mir says if there's a way to save taxpayer dollars, such as turning I-80 into the proposed Bison Bridge, IDOT should do it. Meanwhile, IDOT says it's not taking the Bison Bridge project into consideration at this point in the study, but will look into possible multi-use paths in the future. For now, it hopes to have a plan finalized on on where the new bridge will be built in late 2023. Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. Now the team behind the Bison Bridge project says it's happy with today's meeting and that the project remains viable.